Hey everyone, my name is Nick Robertson. I'm the founder of Rare Combinations LLC, and today I'm going to be introducing to you this alcohol percentage detector that I've been developing. So every time you use the detector, the first thing that you'll want it to do is, of course, plug it in and turn it on. So you should hear a buzzing coming from the inside of the detector, and you should have an empty sample tube screwed into the device. What you'll notice is that there's a countdown timer counting from 900 seconds, and when that countdown timer is complete, the detector is warm and ready to use. Besides the detector, some other things that will be included are a 0.5% alcohol content standard, which only contains 50 milliliters, so you'll end up having to make your own at some point. However, this is a very easy process that I'll go through in other videos. And you'll also be given a few sample tubes to run your samples and standards in uh, the detector. So everything included with the detector gets you started on using the device and you will not have to purchase any other pieces of equipment from me to use the alcohol detector. However, there are a couple of pieces of equipment that I would recommend having that you probably already have laying around. The first piece of equipment that I would recommend having is a separate temperature probe. Now these are really cheap on Amazon, I think this was like $15. Um, and there is actually an integrated temperature probe in the detector when you read your samples. The second thing that I would recommend is a pipette. And especially if you're testing uh, hard kombucha or beer or seltzer, I would recommend having a pipette so that you can do precise dilutions in order to run them through the detector. It's also recommended to have one of these to prepare your standards, like the 0.5% alcohol standard. Along with uh, the pipette being a measuring tool to use with the alcohol detector, I would also recommend getting an accurate glass pipette, as well as a 250 milliliter at least graduated cylinder um, in order to measure larger volumes. Now, in order to prepare your standards, uh, like the 0.5% standard or other standards, uh, what you'll need is some 200 proof alcohol. Um, you can also get away with using something like Everclear, which is uh, 190 proof. You'll just have to do a slightly different dilution. This is available on eBay for I think about $30, um, and this whole bottle will last you forever. Um, so I'd recommend getting the 200 proof if you can. The Everclear is the second best option, and then um, a high proof liquor would be the third best option. And your dilution factors will change depending on the alcohol percentage that you're using. All right, so a few of the features of the alcohol detector are that its detection range is between 0.1% and 2.0% alcohol content. However, the detector has been found to be most accurate between 0.1 and 1% alcohol content. So if you have any samples that you would like to test over one or over 2% alcohol, what you can do is a simple dilution uh, in order to get the sample into that detection range. And I can show you how to do this in a separate video. All right, now that the detector is warm, you can see that it displays the alcohol percentage and then this raw reading to the right of the percentage. You can also see that it's displaying the temperature of the sample in the sample tube. Now for the simple use case of this detector, you'll only be using the alcohol percentage there and the temperature of the sample. However, if you want higher accuracy, but uh, you're willing to take a little bit more time to calibrate the detector yourself, you can use this raw reading. And I have two separate videos on what I call the easy way to use the detector, just using this percentage here, and the slightly more difficult but more accurate way to use the detector with this raw reading right here by making your own calibration curve. Thank you for watching.